there's a lot of mistakes that you make as a medical student and it's great to be able to make those mistakes in a controlled environment rather than in a situation where it's life or death situations and you're kind of put in the spotlight. This is the time where they as like independent medical students can make some decisions on their own together with like their teammates um, and really explore what their medical knowledge is. We've done IV placement, we've done lumbar punctures on pediatric um, dummies and that has really helped with more of the procedural aspect of things. You're able to um, intubate that patient, you can get breath sounds, cardiac sounds, all those good things. But we also have the obstetrics one so you can practice deliveries and then we also have a neonatal one. It gives you that experience to say okay I've I've done this before, I've seen this before. I feel more confident going into real patient scenarios where you might be dealing with some of this. Um, but it also just gives you an opportunity to work with your other students, whereas you might not get that as much in the actual clinic setting. Simulation is um, an important tool because there's critical scenarios, critical medical scenarios that a, a medical student may not ever see throughout the course of their rotations and clerkships. And when they become a resident, that's not the time you first want to experience that. So this provides an opportunity to get them in a high stakes, you know, medical scenario when there's really low risk of harm or injury to the actual patient because we just hit the reset button and start over again.